Why did the buff dude become interested in cryptozoology? He wanted to learn all about the Sasquatch. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Happy Monday, my friends. I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good weekend and you're uh, starting your uh, starting your week off right. We're going to be starting off with a challenge run through Contra, a newer challenge run, one we we worked on for uh, a couple a couple nights, but <laughs> you know it's nothing like a it's nothing like the previous one. <laughs> We're, uh, we're nowhere near that. Let me welcome everybody in. Uh, Kai is first in chat. Welcome to the stream, Kai. And Lucent Jelly, happy to have you here as well. Starting Spoon. <laughs> Yummy stream. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I hope my stream has several positive qualities. I don't know if uh, edibility is, is among them. <laughs> Uh, Kai says, in three days I won't be on your stream much anymore. I'm sorry to hear that, Kai. But, uh, you know, if you have other obligations, I understand. You will be missed, but we will enjoy, uh, we will enjoy the time that we get to spend with you. So, uh, two games tonight. First is, uh, first is Contra. The challenge is the, uh, the all powers run. I've got to grab, uh, I've got to grab every power-up item in the game, <laughs> and I think I know where they all are. Um, but we've got to get we've got to get every every power-up item, and uh, preferably not die. <laughs> I don't think I've had I don't think I've had a single run where I've succeeded in grabbing every power-up though. I've I've always missed like two or three of them, <laughs> and I, of course I die a lot. Um, <laughs> The like the the death count I'm not even super worried about yet. I mean it's it's a shame and I will always uh I will always be upset when I lose a life, but uh it's better at this point, at this stage in the uh in the challenge, it's better to lose a life than to miss a power up. <laughs> but I keep doing both things. Um but we're gonna do this for a couple hours, then we're gonna switch over to Majora's Mask and continue to work our way through that one. Um, depends on the flavor of bean, I suppose, Jelly says. Oh, no. <laughs> the beans, I might have it easy tonight regarding the beans, because, uh, I made, uh, I made chili for dinner, and, uh, I sampled, I sampled the chili while it was, uh, while it was too hot, and I, uh, <laughs> I think I burnt off all of my taste buds. So, uh. I might have a might have an easy time regarding the beans. Um, won't be on as much until next August. All right, so it sounds like you got summer break coming up. If I am, I won't be able to comment much. Well, if you uh, if you can lurk, I always appreciate a lurk. But uh, but no worries, Kai. I never want to. I never want to. Uh, I never want to to guilt anyone for missing the stream or anything like that. You know, people have uh, people have important things in their lives, and that's uh, that's okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. I've turned your computer in on Thursday. Oh, I see. I see. All right, my friends. So why don't we why don't we jump in? I'm not gonna run the timer. I don't think there's much of a point at this early stage when I'm still sort of struggling to uh, to get all the items. Just like uh, just like last time, it is. It's threatening to uh, to glitch and maybe freeze up, but. 
Oh no. All right. Well, if we if we die on stage one, we have to hit reset. <laughs> <clears throat> we uh we can't uh we can't live with a death on stage one any anything that happens after stage one we can live with but you can't really see it and i can't really show it off properly but i've done a i've done a lot of work down here in this room this weekend <laughs> i finally am um, I finally found some more um, pegs for my for my other shelving unit, so I was able to put the shelves in. <laughs> so in addition to what you see behind me, I've got another shelf. It's got Atari games, N64 games, and sort of miscellaneous uh, games on it right now. It's got a lot of books and a lot of uh, sort of figurines. And I did a little bit of adjusting back here. Um, I think I'm going to leave the top shelves open for... Uh, for displaying things. Right now I've got, I don't know how well, how well you can see it. I don't think I can blow the camera up tonight. Actually, I can do it like this. Uh, nope, there's so much glare, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of Mega Man stuff up there though. I've got all my uh, physical Mega Man games, I think all of them are uh, spread across the shelves and we've got like a you know amiibo and figures and stuff so i think what i'll what we'll do is i'll leave that top shelf open for uh, sort of displays and i'll uh, i'll switch out what's up there every couple months might be something kind of fun we can do All right, sorry. Enough chin wagon. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Such a fun collection. I don't have a lot of uh, collections. I, I I don't think I have a lot of collections that could easily span all three shelves, but we we certainly have a lot of Mega Man stuff. It's almost as if Mega Man is somebody's favorite. Whoa, I'm off to a rocky start tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get my head in the game here. I'll get my head in the game here. <clears throat> Might get a chance to hang out with Haru this summer. This summer. Let me see them comment something stupid. It might be me. <laughs> And if I'm not there, I'll see every few days probably. Right on. We'll keep a we'll keep an eye out for you. All right, come on, let's make it through stage one. <laughs>
Hey, we cleared stage one. <laughs> Buddha fingers, welcome in. Uh, great to see you. For a string of strength jokes, they're pretty weak. I agree. Oh no! Speaking of pretty weak. Oh no. I just missed a, uh, I just missed a power-up. You know what? I'm gonna keep going. I put us through enough stage one. Well, if I do that, you know what? I'm gonna reset. Because otherwise, we're spending six, seven levels. We're spending seven levels on a dead run. I don't. I think that's probably a worse thing to do to us. I know I need the practice, but if we're gonna lose hope, we should do it a little bit later. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty tough, Buddha fingers. Coming up with. Uh, coming up with jokes that are thematically linked to to Contra and Super C. I've started a lot I've there's not a lot of material to work with for one. I've started a lot. I've started a lot of streams with Contra and Super C. <laughs> There's a there's a tremendous problem, tre a tremendous difficulty. In that I'm not at all familiar with the lore of Contra. <laughs> like I know these I know these dudes have names. I don't know what they are. <laughs> but here's the thing: even if I did know what they were. I don't know that I could rely, I don't know that I could expect my viewers to know the names of the Contra guys either. And so, like, if I'm going to tell a joke that people are going to appreciate, <laughs> like, it can't be, it can't be too deep in the, in the, in the lore of the thing. <laughs> I need it to be real surface level to, uh, to be understandable by everyone. I just no I I saw that that's what I was that's what I was that's what I was that's why I was talking about it jelly Yes I saw Buddha fingers joke Unless there was another post I'm... What am I even doing tonight? <laughs> I've never had so much trouble. I've never had so much trouble with stage one. What did the buff guy say to his coach when he doubled the number of arm curls? This is reprehensible. <laughs> nice. Well done.
And Kai, I have a, I have no idea. I have no idea who will win your bet, I'm afraid. All right, come on, let's. That's much better. <laughs> I like the uh I like the positivity. I hope you win. power-ups in this room. What an awful challenge. What an awful challenge I have given myself. <laughs> All right, Kai, we'll see you later.
Room number one doesn't have a power up. <laughs> uh, I'm wasting time in here. I'm wasting time in here stalling for a power up that's never going to happen. on our next run, if I remember, I'm going to stop in each of these rooms and I'm going to take a note about which side the red guys come in from. Because the only the only way I'm going to be able to start remembering it is if I write it down. And it, it's very useful to know where to be to uh, best intercept them. I was wondering where I got that fire from. <laughs> I completely, like, I completely blanked on room two. And so I was thinking, wait a minute, if there was no power up in the first room, and I had a machine gun at the end of the previous level, where in the world did that fire weapon come from? I never would have guessed how many um, rooms are on this uh, are on this level. It goes on forever. that the guy comes in from the left in this room. Yep. Oh, I thought I missed him. decided this game could be so scary. <laughs> I've been dying on at the, in the last room on level 4 a lot. I've been dying there um, really consistently because it, there's so much going on and 
I'm desperate to get the power up. Fighting that boss with something other than the pea shooter is so great. <laughs> it's been so long. I don't know what's better, fighting that boss with the machine gun or fighting these with the spread gun. <laughs> They're both wonderful, wonderful things. Okay, there's a part where I have to take the upper road coming up here. It's right here. Ah, uh, what a scary jump. You can get that laser if you're on the if you take the bottom path, but it's really tricky. Actually, it's only tricky, I think, because I make it tricky. I don't think it Thinking about it, I think it actually shouldn't be that hard. I think we've only missed one power-up so far. jump it's just like it's like you have to just trust the game <laughs> no one wants to do that Oh no. Oh no, 
Oh, can I still get that? I can't. I missed another power-up. Because I can't get up there. So now, now I'm at minus two. Ah! Uh, I really wish these guys would stop. I can't deal with the claws and you guys. I'm at minus three power-ups. Ah. And now I've lost a life. Everything just fell apart. I could have grabbed that. Uh, we were uh, we were deathless up until here. Hard to play with all these tears in my eyes. I think it takes longer to kill this guy with the machine gun than it does with the pea shooter. I can't prove it, but I think that's true. I was really hoping to get that to get that fuzzy off the screen. <laughs> Two deaths and three missed power-ups. Uh. I'm 
made it to level four, I think. We missed the first power up in level four. Had the first death in level seven. <laughs> Shrapnel Typhoon, welcome in. Um, you ever wonder what's actually going on in Contra story wise? Um, I was commenting on that earlier. I was saying that I, uh, I actually have no idea what the lore is. <laughs> I've put, uh, I've put probably a couple hundred, a couple hundred hours into this game, it seems like, and, uh, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I was saying before I know that the I know that the two guys on the title screen I know they have names but I couldn't tell you what they are. I think one of them is named Lance. I feel like one of the contra guys is named Lance. I didn't let the credits play all the way out. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> I usually let the I usually let the credit roll complete. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Alright, let's start another run. I gotta do better than three missed power-ups and two deaths. That's uh that's pretty bad. That's 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 a lot of, that's five mistakes. So you you think, you know you'd think maybe it'd be easier to do better, but I don't know about that. Welcome back, Kai. Oh, nice. I could have gotten this and stayed up there. That would have been nice. We'll try and do that in the future. so much I had so much trouble with those two power-ups at the start of the night I missed them like four times all right I, I basically never timed that laser right to avoid having that top guy fire at me that's nice. Made your mom happy, right on.
Room three is no power up. I disagree with that. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to write down what direction they come from. No, I missed a power up. I think I've got to start resetting more uh, aggressively. Master Tuesday, welcome in. Happy Tuesday, Tuesday. Itarama. Great to see you, Itty. I hope your week's off to a good start, my friend. All hail the reset sword. going all right. Uh, I've completed one pass through the game. We missed uh, three power-ups and I died twice, so it was kind of ugly. I don't even know what my best run has looked like. It was kind of sad. I missed the first power-up on level four, I think. And then I had, our, I had the first death on level seven. And it was kind of sad because I was thinking, well... I didn't get all the power ups, but it but it would be nice to make it through in one life. I was thinking at least there's sort of like a consolation, but no. Neither wonderful thing happened. I think we'll do the I think we'll start moving toward doing the thing where if I make a mistake before the end of stage four we hit the reset button. I think our biggest obstacles are mostly uh, 
stage four and earlier, first half of the game, except for stage seven. Stage seven has a really bad death trap, and, or no, stage six has a really bad death trap, and stage seven has power-ups I'm likely to miss. These two rooms, there are two rooms like this, the last rooms on stage two and four. I'm, I'm using the sword to point at the game right now. <laughs> Those two rooms are really, really tricky. Nice. That, that hurt. <laughs> that, that hurt my heart. All right. Should have titled this stream. I should have titled it Leaning on Reset. <laughs>
It's too much. Oh, there's too much going on in that room. All my runs are going to die there. I know I've made it past. I know I've made it past that room before, but it really doesn't feel likely. I mean, clearly I keep resetting. It's not likely that I make it through. Uh, uh. I don't need to stop and fight that gun. Cool. It's been raining for a solid month, you say? And the sky's finally blue? I thought I wouldn't have to catch that R. <laughs> I was surprised to see it fall down the pit. Not because I didn't know it was a possibility. I know it's a possibility, but I thought I'd opened it early enough that it wasn't going I thought it wasn't going to happen. We keep having storms at uh we keep having storms at night. Little we keep having little like brief thunderstorms. Like there'll be a thunderstorm for like a half an hour with like three minutes of super heavy rain. Mostly at night. It might, it just, it might not be my night for Contra. I don't know. <laughs> oh. I can't even, I can't even sync my button presses. Time to switch to Super Contra. We're doing that tomorrow. Super C is uh, Super C is on tomorrow's stream. I've been uh, been juggling them. I was feeling so confident. I was feeling so confident about uh, how I would smoothly uh, grab the fire weapon there. the wrong thing. Maybe if I make it past level 2 I shouldn't reset because <laughs> it looks like level 2 is a mount impassable. So contradent. That's pretty rough. That's a rough one. 
Can I make it through this room? <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting to keep forgetting I'm supposed to write down the direction the red guys come from. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're in the best position we've been in in a while. You see, ideally what I'd like to do is just get in the habit of running into the room and, uh, and lying, and lying down in the path of the red guy <laughs> and just waiting for him. But the grenade tossers make it impossible to do that because uh, if I just stay in one place, I'm going to get a grenade dropped on me. Oh, they really thought of everything in that room. There's too many bullets. There's too many bullets to move around. But you can't stay still because of the grenade tossers. Oh. What an ugly, ugly room. Boat ladder, welcome in. Welcome to the ugliest night in Contra you've ever seen. I feel like I'm averaging like two resets a minute. The stream can be like that sometimes. <laughs> okay, right. The first guy comes in from the right-hand side. Second guy comes in from the right-hand side. Right, right. None. Dead. 
actually might all come in from the right on this stage. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the case. I know they don't always all come in from the right. I know at least one on stage four comes in from the left. Wow, off to a good start. What? I just should never speak. I, you know, I think I'm not ready for this challenge. <laughs> I hate resetting the game so much, but, like, here's the thing. If it's right at the beginning of the game, where I keep making mistakes... I don't know. If I'm not ready for the challenge and I need to practice more, the thing is, the thing I need to practice right now is right at the beginning of the game. <laughs> I'm not good at stage two. I'm not good at stage one either. <laughs> can't I can't play well at least I can try and keep my spirits high I realized I needed to go for the R first too late. Uh, gonna go listen to music, Kai says right on. Enjoy your music. I don't know if it's better to try and stay up here or not. Guys, lucky I'm a terrible shot.
Stage two, here we are again. If I ever do, oh no. This. Uh. If I ever do make it out of stage two, I know all I'm gonna do on stage three is immediately make us make a mistake. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be so nervous to have made it out of stage two. I'm gonna be so nervous about throwing it away immediately that. I know that's what's gonna happen. And I've already had, I've already had a successful run through stage two tonight. I don't, it's not a matter of doing it. It's a matter of doing it again. I don't know why it's so hard. You figure something that I've already, uh, you figure something I've already pulled off would be easy, would, wouldn't be so hard the second time. That, that might be a plan I can repeat. Uh, I have to wing it here, but... <laughs> I'm can't. i not doing any damage to the target. <laughs> Please, just let me out of this room. I can't make it to the center. Uh... This is the longest any person has ever spent in this room. <laughs> I'm 
When I was staying in here to intentionally run out the enemies, I wasn't in here for that long. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. The rumors are true. There is something after the last room on stage two. The game does go on. So much time passed since we were last here. I forgot this place existed. My machine gun's gonna despawn. I need that. Stage four, basically stage two all over again. <laughs> okay, this red guy comes in from the right. Think. See, they don't all come in from the right, and I missed him. Life is bad. We're going to keep going. I'm not in a hurry to get back to stage two. <laughs> that right, left. How is that gun still alive? Right, left, left.
right, left, left, right. I and mean, look at that. I I lost another power up because I took him out too early. <laughs> Uh, so we're missing two power-ups now. Right, left, left, right. Oh, what am I doing? Right. Left, right, left, left, right, right, left. I think he comes from the right in this room. I'm gonna die. Game's too hard. <laughs> I gotta play easier games. <laughs> everything, everything I do is trash. <laughs> That guy was really coming for me. Okay, good. I was worried that the R was going to fall into the water. Not that it matters at this point, I guess, but... That never happens. If you run across there without stopping, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, now I have to do this? Oh, I should reset. I'm back in this awful place. shooter versus snowplow. <laughs> Thank you. 
I really want to say a few things. <laughs> I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot of stress tonight. <laughs> Video games are not relaxing. Something about taking that upper path, I think, makes those, uh, makes some of those fireballers spawn in a slightly different pattern, because the first fireball I duck under, I am not, I'm not used to it firing so quickly when coming onto the screen, so there must be something about the, about, that happens differently when I take the top path that would throw that cycle off. Like, maybe if I'm up top, I rush over there faster. Maybe when I'm lower, enemies slow me down so it cycles differently. I don't know. But it doesn't, uh, I'm not used to it firing immediately upon entering the screen. <laughs> something I need to get uh, get used to is that that is going to behave differently than I'm used to. Outrunning an enemy long distance is not a good idea. <laughs> well, I got it, but I died.
<laughs> no. Ah, uh, now we have to do this with the, uh... With the pea shooter. Derek Ocean, welcome in. I hope you've had a good weekend and that your uh, Monday's off to a good start for the next uh, upcoming week here. How's the game going? Terribly. Terribly. I'm doing awful tonight. <laughs> all I'm doing is uh, all I'm doing is sitting here crying and accomplishing nothing. <laughs> I can't even, I don't even know how bad I did that run. Weekend was okay, right on. <laughs> Congratulations, did I miss all of Contra? No, I'm gonna do one more run, cows. Welcome in. Happy Monday. And how was my weekend? My weekend was pretty good. I uh, did some yard work, did some housework. Uh, did a lot of uh, organization to my room down here. Mostly stuff you can't see um, and that I can't really show off at the moment. But I finally got pegs for my, uh, for my other shelving unit. <laughs> so... Uh, it now has shelves, and I've got my uh, Atari and N64 games uh, nicely organized uh, over there, deeper in the room. <sighs> so we're going to start another run. I'm going to reset if I make a mistake before the end of stage two. So if I, if I die or miss a power-up, we're going to see stage... If this is based on the way the night's been going, we're going to see stage one and two a lot now. It's, it takes me a while to get out of stage two, it would seem. I don't actually have to reset if I mess up the bridge. It is still possible to get all the power-ups, but they're right there at the start. It's uh, it's much easier if I don't mess up the bridge. I thought the bridges were I thought the bridges were mandatory when I started practicing this. But if you're careful, you can... Nice! You can still get the uh, spread gun even if you mess up the bridge. I've been messing up these powers all night.
Can we make it through stage two? Is it possible? I am moving closer and closer towards something that looks like a memorization of these rooms. There's still a long way to go, but I'm... I'm way more familiar with them than I was even a few days ago. <laughs> Hey, we made it through stage two. I know I still have this, but... We passed the hardest part.
really slow, really slow on taking out those arms. <laughs> Got two people sneaking into the theater. They said they didn't like the movie anyways. Doesn't matter, you snuck in. <laughs> what? I guess they deserve for the movie to be bad, then. <laughs> uh, at least they're cooperative, yeah. So you hang on you're saying you you caught people sneaking in you knew they snuck in because no tickets were sold to that to that showing <laughs> That would give it away <laughs> mad i'm so mad it should not be possible to miss that guy with the spread gun <sighs> this game hates me <laughs> I don't want to fight this boss with this gun. Ah! <laughs> I've done... I've fought this boss with a pea shooter enough times for a thousand lifetimes. <laughs> It is unfair for the game to make me do this again and again. Stage 2 went really well. Stage 4 was, was complete garbage, though.
<sighs> you have assigned seating at your theater? Yeah, that also makes it easier than I would imagine. Much easier. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever fallen asleep in a movie theater. Greg's retro channel, welcome in Greg. Hope your week is off to a good start, my friend. I was never any good at this game even back in the day without the contra code. There's no way I would have completed it, you say? I, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling not very good at this game tonight. <laughs> I've had a, I've, I've, uh, I've put on a very, very poor showing tonight. And it's not, and it's not improving. <laughs> uh... Uh, I fell asleep in so many movies in college, Cow says. <laughs> My friends wanted to go see movies, and I agreed because it was a so the social thing to do, and then sleep deprived me. It was in a dark room, and then it was sleepy time. <laughs> Playing Dragon Quest on the Switch, nice. I just uh, made yet another error.
No. Ah, I never take this upward path. Look what it gets me. I haven't played any of the Dragon Quest games myself. Um, I have Dragon, I have Dragon Warrior One on the NES. That's a game that terrifies me. I think the most frightening, I think the most frightening of all games to play is an NES RPG. I think that would be the I think that would be the most difficult type of game for me. I don't know what to do about that spread gun. I miss it all the time. It's not that bad, you say? <laughs> you say that while only playing the modern remakes? See the, the the remakes. I think like a modern a modern RPG is scary enough to me, but then you you just add on like the the cryptic the crypticness and the jankiness of being also being on the NES, and it just it just seems like it just seems impossible. I don't know how anyone's ever beaten a NES RPG. no way you can go back to play the originals except for Dragon Quest 1 and 3 you say I have a couple of the uh, Dragon Quest Dragon Warrior games on the Game Boy Color I don't know if they are improved or any way or if they're just or if they're just straightforward ports. I think they're just ports. I don't think they I don't think they made any updates to them. means they probably wouldn't be any better for me. <laughs> Dragon Quest 4, you're doing a series of it on your uh, YouTube channel? Right on. Pookie Stan, welcome in. You're correct uh, that the hardest aspects of them, as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that they just do a bad job of pointing you in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would have a very hard time of, like, just knowing what the game expected me to do. <laughs> uh, I can be really bad. I can be really bad at figuring that out.
<sighs> My runs have not been going well tonight. It's got me, uh, it's got me feeling a little blue here. I think what we'll do, I think, uh, I think I will restart Contra one more time and I'm going to, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start, I'm going to think I'm going to restart Contra one more time. If I make it through stage two, I'll do the rest of the run. But if I mess up before the end of stage two, then we'll wrap Contra. <laughs> no, uh, no, no resets or anything. I'm just going to give it one try and let my, uh, let my performance decide whether or not we do another full, full game run. Uh, if I, and if I, I mess it up, we'll just switch over to Majora's Mask. That part doesn't bother me. 80s uh, games in general are about the exploration. Metroid, Zelda. Yeah, it's not. It's not so much the exploration that I'm worried about as um. Like sometimes you have to do like a very specific sort of uh, thing to to trigger progress uh, in a game. You know, like uh. Like, Simon's Quest doesn't bother me because you have to explore a lot. It bothers me because, like, you're never going to figure out the the tornado part. I don't think it's humanly possible to, to, to figure that out naturally. My, my trouble is when progress is gated behind a specific uh, specific trigger point that is uh, just simply not discoverable. <laughs> You mean like checking the bedpost? Uh, I'll accept blame for the bedpost. <laughs> I don't think it was fair. And I, I, I could, I could swear that I pressed the investigate button at least close enough to that it should have triggered it. I think if you, I think if you click on the. I think if you if you click at the top of the bed in general, it 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 should count for something that's that was terrible. <laughs> how many hours? How many hours of wandering did I put us through? Like four. I know it was across several streams. Uh, it's over. All right. Well, we're done with Contra for tonight. That red guy ruined everything. <laughs> Uh, I said I'd let our two-stage performance determine whether or not we'd continue, and it has determined that we will not. <sighs> Is that a Pokemon story? I don't know what you're referring to, uh, Pookie Stan. You mean the bed? Are you just talking about the bedpost thing? That's a that's a reference to Shadowgate sixty four. In Shadowgate, one of the items you need is disguised as a uh, 
as a leg of the uh, headboard of a bed in a house somewhere. And uh, I wandered around that game for like four hours, not, not knowing how to find the item I need to make progress. I even knew like where I needed to make progress. I just didn't know how to do it <laughs> because I didn't have that item because it was disguised as something in the world. <laughs> I guess I guess I was just I guess you're just supposed to notice that one of the legs of this of this bed is slightly thinner than the others but it's like it's a Nintendo 64 game like everything everything looks disproportional and weird like <laughs> You expected me to make progress by noticing that something looks strange. I don't think it's fair in those circumstances. Uh. <clears throat> Making a Making an item, making a, a making a progress item, you know, slightly uh, look slightly uh, distorted <laughs> to draw your attention to it doesn't really work when you're also hiding it inside of a Picasso painting. Uh, the key to the game is realizing everything looks strange. Uh, it's a fun game. Shadowgate sixty four is a game that I uh, that I uh, that I really like. Um, I really like the idea of it. I wish there was supposed to be a sequel to it. I wish it had been made because it's a there's not a there's not a whole lot of games uh, like it. Um that I'm, uh, that I'm aware of, but it definitely has some, uh, it definitely has some cheap moves in it. <sighs> All right, my friends. So just, uh, stand by a moment and I'm going to switch over to Nintendo 64. I'm not going to really take a BRB or anything. I'm just going to step away from the computer for a moment and get things switched. And uh, we're going to continue our playthrough of Majora's Mask. Thank you for being here uh, with me for Contra. I'm sorry it went so poorly tonight. I'm just, uh, I'm not, I'm not on my game with this game. <laughs> or something, I don't know. It's just, it, it really beat me tonight. Contra made a fool, made a fool of me. It's got me, got me feeling a little down. So we're going to move to Majora's Mask and hopefully that'll pick our spirits, uh, pick our spirits back up. But, uh, but thank you for coming along on this ride, even though it, even though I've kind of let you, I feel like I've let you down. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, hopefully, hopefully have a, a more fruitful night on the Nintendo 64. So uh, I'll see you in just a moment. <laughs> 